What's up guys, it's Van Kastrom from Canadian Video File coming to you on YouTube. Here we are on episode 10. When I first started doing these videos, I told myself, just make it to 10, man. And looks like now we're done. Made it, and it's over. Nah, don't be ridiculous. Here we are on episode 10. If you've managed to stick around and watch all of them, wow, thank you so much. Type hardcore 10 in the comments if you're one of them. Everyone else, thank you so much for tuning in. Now, last couple of weeks, I got to some videos that were more on the informative side, mostly because I felt the need to include the facts so you understand what I was going to show. I think I'm going to go a little too carried away with, away with that, though. This wasn't supposed to be an info channel, guys. This is supposed to be lighthearted, fun, yet informative, and basically just sharing. Sharing thoughts, sharing ideas, sharing methods, sharing info, so on and so forth, kind of stuff, right? So, anyways, now with that out of the way, I want to share the weird week I've been having, guys. Things have been so exciting with pairings and females starting to swell with eggs and all this craze. I forgot to make sure my brand new custom built incubator was built in time for this season. So I roped in some help quick and I'm still in the middle of setting it all up. This would have been cooler if this was a how to on building an incubator. I was gonna start off with a how not to wait this long before starting. So, so let's go take a peek on where we're at. So this used to be just a dead closet space that I pulled the doors off before and stuck my old trusty incubator right in there. It wasn't too bad except that this room gets a lot of heat fluctuations this summer and I was having too many issues with heat spikes with my clutches. This time we've turned a whole closet into the incubator after insulating the back walls though. So I get more insulation which reduces my spikes. It also increases my capacity in there guys. And that's what excites me the most, filling this thing up. As you can still see, it's in the process of being put together. Shout out to my bro Dallas for getting this thing insulated and framed in with all the hinges, riveted, stainless steel. All that's left is for me to put the guts in it, like my heating elements, fans, and lights, controls. Those all arrived this week, finally, and will be put in as soon as we're done recording here. I'll do a follow-up on the build next week too. Now, earlier I mentioned my weird week. It wasn't just about not being ready for eggs to drop, guys. I swear... I have a ghost in this side of the house that likes to turn on my furnace at night. <laughs> For real, guys. First time it happened, it was around 2 or 3 in the morning and I had stumbled into this room to check on something at the time. Noticed an unusual cold in the room. Thermostat looked like it was on, but the furnace wasn't running. Started panicking with the animals because it was the weekend and outside temperatures were still around freezing. Noticed the pilot light was off, got it on, tried starting it, nothing. Called the technician in. Guess what the issue was? A wire that had been pulled out or not loose from a connection on my thermostat. Technician felt bad, he charged me a nominal fee, I apologized for wasting his time, and we went on merry ways. Now, two days later, the same thing happens when I walk in in the morning. Pilot is on this time, but the furnace wouldn't start up again. Call the technician again, he troubleshot for a while, couldn't figure out why anything would be wrong, aside from the breaker on my electrical panel that was switched off. The breaker to the furnace, so, I apologized profusely to him again. I have no idea why that had been turned off. He said, no sweat, don't even worry about the basic fee. No charge, he said this time. Shook his head as he walked out. The very next morning, I walk in again. And this time, I just sort of went to a defeated shutdown mode. Same thing as before. Went downstairs, check out the pilot light again. This time, I didn't even have to call the technician because this is what I saw. A loose wire, another loose wire. So, I don't know, I'll let you guys figure that one out. Like, I'm not typically a superstitious guy, but I'm hoping that was three for three and my furnace behaves for the rest of the short spring that we're supposed to be having. If you think I need to call in a witch doctor, let me know in the comments below, guys. If you think I need a real doctor, let me know also. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, slam that thing right now and hit that bell symbol on the side to keep up my year as things are progressing, guys. Today's track was brought to you by my boy Nate Bonnet and a few other close homies collabing. Keep them coming, dudes. These are all guys from our local scene here working outside of their own band. I really love the tight bond we have being musicians in the smallest city, man. Anyways, show them some love on the channel here on YouTube. As always, support your scene, support your music, support art, support your passion, support anything you're into, guys. Thanks for tuning in again. This has been Brandon Case from Canadian Video File.